channel. We are going to do a Nicki Minaj weekly as of September 13th, 2022. How y'all doing? I feel like Wendy Williams. I know it's been a minute, y'all, but I had to take a little break from doing Nicki just to kind of reset the energy, allow things to kind of come through as it relates to her. Um, you know, I know she's been doing a lot of build up with some of her singles. I know there was a remix that came out with, um, oh my goodness, Bia was on it. Um, I want to say Akbar and a couple other ladies. Oh yeah, JT, I believe was on it as well. So again, like, like I said in past readings that Nikki is really going to be pulling in some of these female artists as a way to kind of elevate themselves independently and Nikki is the perfect leader priestess queen to be able to do this so it's really dope to see the fact that she is doing this as well as the fact that this is really a great build um as she anticipates her album and as she anticipates the release of this documentary so let's get into the situations thank you so much holy spirit angels and ancestors give us some situations that are surrounding onika mirage Nicki minaj as of september 13th 2022 what is she doing feeling and thinking at this current time what's in her head her mind give us the energy holy spirit let's see what we have Ooh receipts baby all right so nikki about to pull out receipts or on somebody or she's possibly about to call out somebody because you know it's like i don't know i'm getting this energy where it's like people are chattering or talking or like speaking on her or about her or something that she's doing and it's kind of like it's kind of like you're saying this, but I actually had the receipts to show that. I don't know. Who is she calling out? Lord. I don't know who this is or what this is about. But yeah, it's like you can speak on whatever you want to speak on. But in Nikki's eyes, it's like I got the receipts, the proof, the information that says otherwise. Okay, we got the unconditional, genuine, certain love card coming out. So she could be receiving a lot of unconditional love from people around her, support from around her. Um, let's see what else. Nightlife, we have gamble, take a risk. We also got the lockdown card on the bottom, which is interesting because I do feel like Nikki may take a brief little hiatus at, at some point. Um, you know, like I said, she's doing a great job strategically building up these songs these releases, um, sharing certain information, doing these surprises, these pop-ups, these different shows that she has. Like she's very strategic about how she does it and it's obviously working in her favor. This is exactly how I know that she wanted it to go. But there's also gonna be a brief period where she kinda has to step away just to reset and gather her next moves. Um, again, as she continues to release and and drop certain things so let's see what this receipts are about what's this receipts card all about holy spirit king of wands energy fire sign energy here a masculine male possibly someone who possibly thought they had some sort of control or reign over nikki in a sense but they don't <laughs> Let's see. Spirit, give me one last card. What is this receipts about as it relates? Yeah, see, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone tried to block some sort of opportunity for Nikki. Someone tried to come in and block what's, whatever opportunity she had going on. And maybe Nikki has proof of this. So what is the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? What is the outcome of this Ace of Wands and the King of Wands? Who is this? Is this? Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so we also have we have the moon and the sun. I'm hearing, don't she have a song where it's like something, something, my sons? I don't know. I'm hearing something like that. So this could be a Pisces or this could be a um 
this could also be what a Sag possibly I don't know I see this as Piscean energy the moon here it's like I don't know Nikki's talking about something and I feel as though someone doesn't like her speaking about it Someone doesn't like her talking about it because it's painting out, possibly could paint out this person in like a negative light or not in the best way. And it's like, yo, it doesn't have to be this way. But I don't know. I feel like Nikki's like in this mood or energy where she's not even, she don't want to hear no small talk about anything. She doesn't want to hear any small talk because it's like, you've been talking and saying all this stuff. And whoever this person is, they might even have been, like, smiling in her face or, like, acting like they were all cool. I swear, there's something in the energy right now where people you think you cool with really do not fuck with you, okay? And whoever this person is for Nikki, they may have been cool for a minute, but now it's like, yo, I really can never mess with you again because now I got the receipts and proof that you was really on some shiesty type of time and because of that I'm good because of that I can't rock with you I can't produce with you I can't build the sunshine with you because I see now that you was hiding things you you know was keeping some secrets from me you was acting like we was cool and we wasn't and for that I can't really deal with you no more so I definitely feel like it is a masculine energy or some, or it could be a feminine energy, a, a female that carries a lot of masculine energy as well. Let's see what this unconditional love card is for. Ooh, two of cups. What is this? Spirit, give me some more into this two of cups. Is this something in her current situation? What is this with the two of cups? This is a partnership, a union. We also have the Hierophant. Okay, but there's some sort of leveling up that's happening that is trying to happen in her partnership or in, in something new. Let me see. Spirit, give me one last card. Mm, and then we got the Nine of Cups in reverse as well. Mm, I don't know why. I, I honestly kind of get... There's some sort of loss. This, to me, gives me some sort of loss energy. I don't know if this is in reference to a, a family member, a, a, a loss of a baby. Um, but there's a wish here. But it, it's not being fulfilled or it's been blocked or something happened with this hierophant that kind of delayed the process of this change transpiring okay and i feel like this unconditional love card especially with the two of cups is possibly her husband's energy or just someone really pouring into her just pouring into her with this unconditional love because of this loss or this situation that did not pan out in the way that was anticipated spirit give me one more what else is this oops yeah, the two of pentacles coming down. It's something that's been a very back and forth, up and down journey. Um, I don't know, like, I really try not to talk too much about, like, the pregnancies and stuff like that. But I feel like I'm hearing in vitro fertilization. So I don't know if this is something Nikki is doing or something that she's considered, but there's something here with this possibly not working out in her favor. Ugh, I'm not, I'm going to move past that. I don't want to get too heavy into that. Let's see what this, this nightlife is all about. Gamble, take a risk. She's about to take a risk with something. Either this is her taking a risk on a collabing with someone or possibly dropping a single or possibly, um, sharing some sort of information we got the ace of cups and we also have the five of swords interesting so yeah she's gonna take a risk to either share something or communicate something um oh my gosh these cards and someone may not like it with the five of swords here in the ace of cups okay because it's like it's gonna cause some challenges or some arguments or 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 something 
Spirit, what, give me give me some more into this. Why is this five of, five of swords here with the Ace of Cups? Is she, is this a person? Yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing tryouts right now. So what is, what is... Is she doing tryouts for something or interviews or is she bringing some people? I feel like she is doing Queen Radio again. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like I saw something about that. Um, but if so, she may make a choice or decision. This could possibly be a water sign to bring on someone at least for them, whoever this person is, this could be a very, um, a great opportunity for this person. So I feel like for Nikki, she's, she's really deciding what cup she wants to choose. And choosing this cup is going to be a little risky because the five of swords here is like, I'm hearing tread lightly, so it's like she has to be really strategic about how she unveils. I definitely feel like this one cup in here is Nikki about to unveil something, okay, and, and lift the veil, similar to kind of like this moon energy where it's like there's a lot of things that are hidden and deep and under the surface, and I feel like Nikki is either going to express or speak to this or talk about this in some way and possibly bring on someone else that's going to speak on this or whether this is through like an interview somewhere else or her doing this on queen radio or um maybe even a single or something along those lines but i don't know i feel like nikki's about to shake shake i'm hearing shake rattle and roll i don't know why i'm hearing that but i feel like she's about to shake the table let's see what um african goddess oracle we have today for nikki thank you so much holy spirit what african goddess oracle do we have for nikki minaj today all right just want to come on me out oh oh my goodness y'all 33 which has been coming out crazy for me lately look it says speak up speak up this is what i'm saying nikki's about to speak on something right now that is going to shake things up just a little bit or rattle rattle some people. But whatever this is, it might just have to be said. It's almost like if Nikki don't say this, who will? You know, if Nikki doesn't speak up, who will? Let's see what it says. This is about the Maim Kuba Mang, Bang protects the mouth of the Senegal River. When making an offering to her, you must not speak to anyone else coming or going. Sing for her, chant for her, call to her, give goddess Kumba your voice and she will be happy. So it basically says that our guidance message is to speak up, speak out, speak on it. You have the right to be heard. The embodiment message says you are portraying yourself by not speaking up. Your words have power. Own your voice. An old saying goes, stand up for something or fall for anything. Being neutral is not an option. When you stand firmly in your truth, you have thoughts, opinions, beliefs, and convictions. What do you stand for? Tell someone today. The goddess declaration is, I reclaim my voice. I speak out and I speak up. Y'all, I swear this message is not only about Nikki, but it's a, it feels like this is for me as well. And you guys may resonate with this as well for your own reasons. But I'm telling you right now, look at the fists in the air. Look at this card. Look at that. All the fists in the background. Nikki is about to speak on something that is really going to be like, I feel like people are going to be like, yo, you're not supposed to speak on this. You're, you're a rapper. You're an entertainer. Like, this is none of your business. But it's kind of like, if I don't say what I got to say about this, who will? Like, it's almost like some of y'all are in this denial. Some of you, like, like the, um card said it's like stand up for something or fall for anything if i don't stand up about this if i don't express myself in this way if i don't share what i know who will so this is for all of us if you need to speak up use your voice express yourself it's crazy because i just did a live an energy reading for the live where i was literally just saying like i'm feeling blockages in people's throat chakra where it's like you want to say something but you're not saying it or you want to express yourself but you're not expressing yourself you have to say what's on your mind because holding this in is 
not doing you any good and it's not doing the good to anyone else as well. 33 is a significant number, okay? I literally turned 33 yesterday, you guys. So this is how I know this message is for all of us, okay? So it's like 33 is all about protection. It's the fact that the Holy Spirit, the angels, the ancestors are surrounding you with love and light and they are encouraging you. This is your team, okay? This is why the fists are up. It's like you have to speak on this. Just like Nikki is about to speak to something that other people may not appreciate or understand but again if she doesn't speak on it who will okay and i feel like i'm seeing i don't know if you guys have read this book the goddess black woman book but it's like as a goddess black woman as a black woman we have a responsibility to speak on certain things when other people won't what we have a voice for a reason and if we don't act on this if we don't speak on this it's going to do a disservice to those who really need to hear it. For those who um, really need certain encouragement or certain words or certain things communicated to them. And I feel like for Nikki, it's like, I don't know. I feel like she's kind of like, I didn't bit my tongue so many times. It's like, I, I haven't said this, that, and a third out of respect for this one or that one or A, B, and C. But you know what? Like, I can't do that anymore. You know what? I, I have to just kind of speak up and stand for, stand in my truth as who I am as a black woman, as a goddess black woman, as an entertainer, as an artist, as a mother. Like, I feel like this is what, what Nikki is saying at this point. And like I said, some people aren't going to like it. There's also something with the blue dress as well. I don't know if Nikki is about to be in a blue dress or clothed in a blue dress, but again, blue is also tied to the throat chakra, okay? So I really want to say for everyone listening to this right now, literally visualize a blue a blue light or just a blue aura surrounding your throat chakra and just envision this being cleared, okay? And any blockages, anything that's kind of clogged in your throat is being released and removed, okay? And just kind of just allow yourself to just speak your mind and open your heart in some sort of ways whether you're saying this out loud like i am or whether you are journaling this on a piece of paper use your voice and speak up for the things that you know are right i'm also being drawn to the queen of wands so it's like you have to be very courageous at this time you have to use your confidence to be confident as you use your voice in a way that's going to help others because not everyone is going to understand it especially when they're not on your level but the right people will feel what you are saying and i feel like that is where nikki is at right now y'all may not understand what i'm saying y'all may not want me to say what i'm saying but you know what the right people who hear my voice ooh, and this is another thing this is what's coming to me as well. If you know from the Bible, it always says, those who have ears, let us hear. Okay, so hear this word, hear this message. And I feel like that's what Nikki's kind of on right now. You need to hear and listen to what I'm saying instead of like trying to be combative with me or come at me. Like I know I'm saying a lot. I know some of y'all are not happy, but I really don't care because you need to listen to what I'm saying because what I'm saying is real and what I'm saying will help other people. Okay, she's also saying y'all can continue to be ignorant or you continue continue to turn a blind eye or dismiss what I know to be true. But like I said, she got receipts. She also has unconditional love and support around her. And she's also about to take a risk on something that, again, a lot of people are not going to be in favor of, but it is what it is. Okay, so this was definitely a very, very beautiful, somewhat serious reading, but I feel like all of this stuff had to be said today, okay? So let me know what you guys think and how you feel about this reading and this energy. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do, do so through um, the booking button in my About Me section. So I really, truly appreciate you guys watching. I will be back next week for... And Nikki uh, Weekly, we're, we're going to get back into the swing of things. Um, because like I said, at some point, I feel like Nikki will have to take a, a small little hiatus just to prepare for what's coming next. So again, let me know what you guys think and how you feel. And I will see you guys later. Bye.